The perma spike nerf is one of the hardest nerfs that have happened in BTE6, at least in recent memory, and to explain why it works like that, we're gonna get a little technical. Okay, so let's start with the old perma spike, where one spike pile had 10 damage and 90 peers. The new one has 15 damage but 45 peers, and just doing basic maths, it turns out that the new one is 25% weaker than the old one, which is a huge nerf by itself, but unfortunately it doesn't end there. Before I continue further, let's talk about the balloon hierarchy. The ceramic layer has 10 HP and it releases two rainbows which have 8 HP each. Each. So if a ceramic balloon would walk into the old perma spike, it would take three pierce from it. One pierce for the ceramic layer and one pierce for each of the rainbows, so three in total. This meant that one pile from the old perma spike with its 90 pierce could pop 30 ceramic balloons. Now the new one got all messed up and here's when layer skipping becomes important. The new perma spike does 15 damage and has 45 pierce. Now that 15 damage is a very problematic number because here's what happens. Whenever a ceramic balloon walks into the new perma spike, instead of popping to rainbows like the previous one, it now pops to greens. So 10 damage for the ceramic layer and then the remaining 5 damage takes out the rainbow, zebra, black or white, pink and yellow layer and leaves them to greens. But the thing is, it's not just one green balloon, it's 16 green blues because one ceramic splits into 2 rainbows which then splits into 4 zebras which splits into 8 black and white balloons which split into 16 pinks and then 16 yellows and eventually 16 green balloons. And when all of those 16 individual green balloons start hitting the spike pile, the pierce gets completely decimated. So just to test it out, if we send in a few ceramics we're gonna see that one spike pile from the new perma spike is only able to fully pop two ceramic blooms and leaks a few greens from the third one for a total of 297 damage. For comparison the old one was able to do 3120 damage which means that the new one is over 90% weaker. Now it's very important to know that this only applies up to round 80 because starting from round 81 free play kicks in and all of the blooms only release one lower layer bloom so instead of releasing two rainbows and four zebras and so on it's only one of them and at that point it's actually quote unquote only a 25% nerf but for rounds up to 80 and especially versus ceramics the new perma spike is literally over 90% worse than the old one. 